Okay, welcome. My name is Angela, and I'll be holding a yin practice in support of the pelvic floor. So when you're ready, I'd like you to come and lie down flat on the mat. You may want to also have available, if you have a bolster or if you have a blanket, and something later to just cover yourself, you'll get those things together. But as you come and lie down, you can put a blanket or something under the head and we'll lie down with this feeling that the chest is gonna open and the shoulders come back and down. We'll bring the feet in and let the soles of the feet come together and the knees come apart. And we're gonna bring our focus onto the lower belly. So coming into this position, you could support your knees again with some blankets or with some books if you happen to have blocks. And we're starting here with the soles of the feet together as you press the heels together and allow the knees to drop out to the side. The lower belly is in your focus as you come and settle into the posture. And we're going to allow the belly to lift and drop. So think of swelling the belly on the inhalation, allowing the belly to be soft. And then on the exhalation, it kind of drops down with gravity, sinking down towards the floor. And I want you to stay here for a few more moments, feeling that breath in the lower abdomen. We could call this a belly breath, also a mindful practice to just bring the breath down below the navel as there's an expansion on the inhalation and an exhalation. Now I've started the focus here in the lower belly so that we can move our attention to the pelvic floor. So as you inhale and the belly fills, we're gonna allow the pelvic floor to release. And then as you exhale and the belly draws in, you're gonna feel a lift of the pelvic floor. Inhale, you'll release. Just feel a release of the muscles in the lower belly and the pelvic floor area. And then a lift on the exhalation, feeling the draw up. The space between those two sits bones, you would lift and draw up on that contraction. But then on the inhalation, we have a release. We're gonna do two more breaths just like this. Connecting that pelvic floor on the exhalation, it draws up, but on the inhalation, just as important to let go. We'll do one more breath here. And then as we exhale and release, we're gonna draw the inner thighs together. Take your hands with the palms down. If you happen to be laying on something, you can come flat to the floor and we'll come into a twist, just letting the knees draw over to the right, head to the left, and you'll turn the left palm up. Coming back through center, we'll go to the other side, just allowing some movement now in that lower back and pelvic area. And we'll come back through center. This time, we're gonna draw the knees in towards the chest. Finding a deep breath here, inhale. And then wrapping the arms around and giving a nice squeeze. Use that exhalation to draw in a little bit closer. Inhalation will just release. Exhalation, draw in a little closer. Inhale, release. And now we'll just place the feet down on the floor and bring our hands to the rib cage. So as we breathe, we're gonna feel the breath go wide through the ribs, feeling the breath extending out to the sides as you inhale, but on the exhalation, there's a softening, drawing in. Now that you're laying on the floor, you can feel the back of your ribs as well, expand as the ribs go out to the side. And then softening and releasing. So we have our hands here for this tactile sensation of expansion in the ribs. Really feel like you're pushing the hands out to the side. And we're getting this diaphragmatic breath working now with the pelvic floor. So on your next breath, we'll bring the hands down and we're gonna roll over to the side. 
And from this position, grab a blanket or a towel and you're just gonna roll it up. And if you happen to have a bolster, you can put that bolster across as well. As we come and lie back down, you're going to allow the chest to open and then it comes into this little mini back bend as the head drops down. You could put something under the head here, let the chest lift. You feel the ribs really expanding out to the side. You feel a stretch in the belly here. And we just want to position the pelvis so that it feels heavy and grounded. And then the arms can come up over the head or just out to the side. Make sure that we've got this nice connection of the shoulders dropping towards the floor. If they touch the floor or not is up to you. You can always adjust but the feeling that they're heading on down with gravity. We're gonna extend the legs out and take three breaths here. I want you to think of a full body breath. So as you breathe in, the whole body is experiencing the breath on the inhalation. And on the exhalation, we feel everything coming back towards our center. Inhale. And exhale. Placing the feet onto the floor, we'll roll over to the side and you're gonna now remove that blanket, come lie flat, and we're gonna stay here for just a moment and connect with the breath once more, wide through the ribs. Inhale, release the belly and feel the pelvic floor release, and then exhale, pelvic floor lifts once more and the rib cage comes in. So we're making this connection from the diaphragm to the pelvic floor and working as you inhale, everything softens, the diaphragm drops, the pelvic floor releases. And as you exhale, the pelvic floor lifts and the diaphragm lifts. From here, we're gonna draw the right knee in towards the chest, extend the left leg. Taking a breath here, inhale. We're gonna draw the lower belly in and bring the head up towards the knee for just a moment and then descend back down. We'll switch legs here as we draw the knee in. Just getting into that hip flexor, any tightness that might be showing up in the hips and in the outer part of the hips or glutes. We're gonna draw the abdomen in, let the head drop up. And then we'll lower back down, allowing both knees to come in. We're just gonna do a circle with the knees going out to the side, coming to the sensations inside the hips. What's going on inside the hips? Can you continue to have that breath in and out? We'll go the other way with the circles as we rotate round. And then we'll roll over to the side once more. And this time come onto our hands and knees. So let's do a little cat and cow, very classic yoga posture here. As you ground your hands just under your shoulders and knees under the hips, we're gonna do an exhalation where we're going to feel the ribs come in, the diaphragm lifts and the pelvic floor can lift. And then inhalation here, we're going to expand the chest, feel the ribs go wide and release the pelvic floor. Let's repeat, exhale, feeling the lift of the pelvic floor and the connection of the ribs drawing in. And then release, inhale, feeling the widening of the ribs and the lift and release of the pelvic floor. We'll do two more just like that. Noticing if there's any tightness in the spine. If you're able to connect fully to the breath or does the mind wander? Keeping the attention on the movement. Exhale, we feel a lift of the pelvic floor and the rib cage draws in with the exhalation. And with the inhalation, we expand through the ribs and release the pelvic floor. We're going to come into a child's pose. So again, something under the knees or soft padding on the knees. 
And then we'll reach the arms out and we want to let the head drop down and rest. So maybe a cushion here or if you have a block, you want the forehead to rest where the mouth is free, the nose is free, and the spine is long. So stay there in your child's pose. You're going to breathe wide into the ribs once more. Getting more connected to the way that your breath is being expressed in your body. Coming to these sensations where there's expansion and then a softening. We're going to stay here for three more breaths in your child's pose. Notice what you notice inside the hip sockets. Notice what's going on for you today in your body. Being mindful here of your breath as you stay connected to the breath, but explore the tightness that might be in the body at this time. After your next breath, you're gonna bend the elbows and bring the hands to prayer position. So if you happen to have something where your elbows can pop up onto, if not, you'll just be on the floor with your elbows bent and your fingertips coming together to point up. A little stronger as the shoulder blades slide down the back as you stay in this posture for three more breaths. For two more breaths, connecting to how that feels in the upper body as we release tension in the shoulders. Pressing those palms together as you continue to point those fingers up for one more breath. Notice how the chest opens here too. And then we're going to release and we'll come on up. Now from here, I'd like to bring you into a posture. It's called legs up the wall. Having a blanket folded in half is nice if you have it available and bringing your mat close to the wall. If you know legs up the wall, you come and sit with your shoulder on the side. The opposite shoulder is gonna come on down to the floor and you scoot a little bit closer into the wall before you roll on up. The legs go up, you adjust the position of the blanket under your pelvis. And we look to take the arms out to the side, letting the chest lift, and then opening up the feet as we come into this position. So when you're ready to come out, I'll demonstrate that, but I'd like you to stay a little longer and I'll show a modified version. Roll over to the side, you come on up using your hands, and then we reposition ourselves. If you don't have the wall or you're finding that the wall's a little too much on the hamstring area, we're gonna be mindful of that and just modify by using a chair or you could also use a couch. Here would be a very accessible position. And one that I really recommend, this I really recommend as a practice, if you can find five minutes in the day. So once again, you would adjust the blanket so it's at your pelvis with the tailbone coming down. The sit bones would fall to the other side. The shins would be parallel here, or the knees and hips would be in alignment, and the calf muscles would just be resting. So you wanna make sure you're not here. That won't be a very restful position, but that you bring your legs through. This is gonna allow the belly to soften, so chest lifts. So you're either in one of those two positions. We're gonna just be in a place of stillness. Coming to stillness, we wanna watch the mind if it tends to wander and just bring it back. Bring it back to this present moment. 
to the way that your body feels at this time. And when the mind kicks up and wants to take you away, bring back to the body. Just bring your attention back to the physical body. Now we've done some breathing practices throughout. And now I just ask you to be aware of your breath. Be the witness to your breath. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. I'm going to be here for a little longer. This posture is designed to relax the nervous system. With the legs up, we're helping encourage the relaxation response to kick in. So again, this is a posture that can be done easily if you can carve five minutes a day. Come up into this posture. It takes the pressure off of the pelvis and the pelvic floor. The breath itself allows you to connect that healing response that's deep within the body. The body wants to find that homeostasis. And we'll just take two more full breaths. And then we'll place the hands on the abdomen, just below the navel. As we come to our center, when we come back to that belly breath, let's feel the breath in the lower belly, swelling on the inhalation, and on the exhalation, the abdomen softening. Notice how the body feels at this time. And reflect upon the last time that we spent here in this posture. And if you're feeling a change on an energetic level, you're feeling a change in your nervous system. And just let's do three more belly breaths, feeling the belly expand on the inhalation and soften. And as you come to your last breath, we'll bring the feet. If you're on the couch, draw the knees close. If your legs are up the wall, draw the knees close. Trying in, wrapping the arms around if possible, giving a little squeeze. Noticing the change within the hip sockets, noticing the right side, noticing the left, and noticing the balance. We'll roll over to our right side when you're ready. And like I demonstrated before, I'm making sure that as you roll to the side, you're actually using the strength of your arms to come on up. We're going to position ourselves in a cross leg. And you can sit on your blanket, again, a cushion. And I'd like to finish with a mudra. So let's take the arms up and bring the hands of the heart. And we're familiar with this prayer mudra, but let's do a mudra where the palms turn up and the back of the hands rest on the knees. And if you're comfortable, close your eyes and let the spine long. And there's this energy and lift of the spine. So there's effort to extend the spine, but the outer layer of the body, the shoulders, the hips, the knees all soften. So I like to think of you know, a fountain, the water where it shoots up through the center and then it just cascades over on the outside. So strong through the center. And soft on the outside. And this mudra, so mudras are hand gestures that send signals to the brain. This one with the palms facing up. This represents a receiving gesture of healing, receiving, 
of your body's innate wisdom to care for you and to bring you back to balance. And with one more breath, and this feeling of opening to receive, we'll bring our hands back to the heart. We'll come to end our practice together as we bow our head. If you're familiar with the words namaste, we'll use namaste to end our practice. The light in me honors and respects the light in me. Namaste.